E-Gauge, Capture Your Footprint, Tread Lightly. This is going to be a brief overview of how to install E-Gauge, as well as some troubleshooting hints. Please be sure to review our manual for complete details. E-Gauge is an affordable, flexible, web-based electric energy and power meter that can measure up to 12 circuits on up to three phases. E-Gauge is FCC Class B compliant for commercial and residential installations. E-Gauge also conforms to UL and Canadian CSA safety standards. E-Gauge is made in the USA. Use E-Gauge to measure and record whole house energy consumption, renewable energy generation, and consumption of individual circuits and appliances such as air conditioners, heat pump, pool pump, compressor, home office, or kitchen space. The data can be viewed on any web-enabled device through the built-in web server. How does it work? How does it install? The eGauge system hardware contains three parts. The eGauge main unit, the home plug adapter, and a number of CTs. The eGauge records and stores data from the 12 CT sensors and three voltage taps and is able to send this data to the local area network and onto the internet using power line communication through the home plug adapter. The home plug adapter, too shown in this photo, is a conventional product. The home plug adapter serves as a communications gateway from the E-Gauge main unit to the local area network. In this photo, the home plug adapter is shown plugged into a wall outlet. The home plug connects to the local area network using conventional Ethernet cable. The home plug adapter supplied from E-Gauge will also come with a 6-foot Cat5 Ethernet cable. The home plug is installed near the router or any available Ethernet port. It receives information from the E-Gauge. Try and minimize the distance between the home plug and the E-Gauge main unit. The first step to installing the E-Gauge energy monitoring system is to install the home plug adapter. The second step is to install the E-Gauge main unit. The E-Gauge main unit is generally installed inside or near the main breaker panel. In this photo, you can see the E-Gauge main unit installed inside the breaker panel in the upper left section. The installer needs to determine whether or not the E-Gauge main unit, size 7 inches, by 3.5 inches by 1.2 inches can fit into the existing electrical panel. If not, a separate enclosure will be needed. In this photo, you can see the E-Gauge main unit is installed inside the electrical panel. Here is an example of the E-Gauge unit mounted outside of the main electrical panel. In this example, the E-Gauge is mounted in a separate enclosure in an outdoor situation. And here is another example of an E-Gauge mounted in its own separate enclosure. The E-Gauge main unit has three voltage inputs and 12 CT inputs. The E-Gauge main unit needs to be connected to each phase that you wish to monitor. The preferred method of connection is to hardwire the E-Gauge to its designated breaker. Two 15 amp single pole breakers or one double pole 15 or 20 amp breaker will do the job in a standard residential 240 system. When no available breaker slots are present, the connection may be accomplished by using a splice or insulated lug onto an existing circuit. Once E-gauge is connected to the voltage, power up the device and check the signal strength to the home plug. The installer provides any breakers or lugs needed as well as number 14 gauge wire to run from the E-Gauge to the point of connection. Please see the E-Gauge owner's manual for additional information. The E-Gauge system uses split core CTs to monitor the current flow of a given conductor or circuit. In this photo we see a 100 amp 
split core CT. This type of CT is generally used to monitor the total utility demand of a residential home. One CT on each phase of a 240 volt system. Here is an example of the smaller 0.4 inch inner diameter split core CT. This type of CT is generally used to monitor circuits within a residential home application or renewable energy generation. Each CT will arrive with an attached CT plug and 8 feet of wire. If the entire 8 feet of wire is not needed, it can be shortened and the CT plug reattached to the shortened wire length. CTs can be ordered in a variety of different sizes and amperage ratings. It is up to the installer to designate which CTs will be needed for the job. In most residential systems, a 0.4 inch 50 amp CT is used to monitor the individual circuits and either a 0.75 100 amp CT or 1.25 inch 200 amp CT is used to monitor each of the main feeds from the utility. The E-Gage main unit has 12 CT input slots. As you can see here, the CT plug is being plugged into CT slot 1. Please see CT selection guide for more information. The installer should fill out the installation sheet as the CTs are installed, noting the identity name of the load, the CT amperage, and which phase the CT is connected to, phase A, phase B, or phase C. E-gauge can be used in commercial and industrial three-phase 208 or 277 480 volt systems. The three main parts of the system remain the same, as does the sequence of installation steps. 277 480 volt systems will, in addition, require a home plug coupler. CTs 2 inches and 3 inches are available in amperage sizes over 1000 amps. Commercial systems generally require larger amperage rated CTs on the main utility feeds. E-Gage can monitor systems that have parallel feeds as well. Please contact us to discuss further system details. In this photo, we see a 2 E-Gage system monitoring a 480 volt service. Once the home plug, E-Gage main unit, and CTs have been installed, the installer must connect to the device and configure the device from the local area network. To configure the device, the installer must go to the settings option and then select installation. The installer then must define the CTs that are used in the system. In this example we see there are four CTs used. To add a CT, simply select the drop down menu and select the amperage of the CT used. In this example we have added a 50 amp CT that is plugged into CT slot 5. The second section is the registers area. This area is where the installer defines the different items that are being monitored. In this example we have grid, solar new, and solar. On this home there are actually two solar energy systems independent so each one is being monitored. An installer who may need to add a new register simply clicks add register enters the name, in this example we'll say office, and then adds components. For this example we'll have CT5 which is on L2 monitoring a circuit that's designated for the office. The final section is totaling. This is where the e-gauge calculates the total net usage of energy. Uh, it is very important, especially when dealing with renewable energy systems or multiple renewable energy systems. The installer must always save any changes. eGage will ask for administrative password and username. This can be found on your installation sheet. The channel checker tool is a good tool to use when first commissioning a system to make sure you are getting readings from all voltage connections and CT inputs. The channel checker tool can be found 
in the Tools menu under Channel Checker. In this example, we see that there are two voltages. This is a 240 40 volt system. And we see that there are four CTs. The CT reading and amperage ranges from just above 3 amps to about almost 7 amps. We also can see the total wattage being consumed or produced at this time for the different identities named in our E gauge. We can see here grid 1, uh, L2, is at 747, 48 watts. And for example, um, our solar energy system is producing about 440 watts on each phase. Additional information can be found in the FAQ section of our webpage, as well as on our supporting documents. Please visit egage.net backslash support for a list of these different documents. We hope this brief overview has been informative and will help you understand more about the eGage energy monitoring system. Please contact sales at egage.net for any additional questions. Thank you.